Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Justin. Our good friends over at Netflix have given us the keys to their vault and granted us early access to the first half of Daredevil Season 3. Have you seen Season 1 yet? Or 2? Or The Defenders? If not, what are you doing here? But if you have, get ready, because we're about to go back into the wardrobe, find our trusty black mask, and kick some butt. Now, just letting you know, there are a few slight spoilers in this video, but I'll try my best to keep them at a minimum. After the world-shaking and building-breaking final episode of The Defenders, we find Matt Murdock's friends Karen Page and Foggy Nelson, along with everyone else, presuming he is dead and are trying to get through their lives without him, when suddenly, word spreads that Wilson Fisk has now been released from prison and is now being holed up in a luxury hotel, essentially under house arrest as a thank you from the FBI for helping him bring down a notorious Albanian crime gang. See, someone is trying to kill Fisk in prison and his intel to the FBI is incredibly useful for bringing down some bad guys. And the only way to keep Fisk safe is to transfer him to a highly surveilled hotel previously seized by the US government. Along the way, we meet FBI Special Agent Ray Nadim, who is desperately trying to provide for his family and will do anything he can to get himself out of trouble. We also meet Special Agent Benjamin Poindexter, an FBI sniper who has a few screws loose and begins to get caught deep in Fisk's world. Now, onto the main attraction, Matt Murdock. He is given his all for the city of New York and now finds himself without powers, fully deaf in one ear, and can barely walk. He has been taken in by the very orphanage he grew up in, and he has been cared for by a nun called Sister Maggie, who we remember as being the nun that was alerted to his state at the end of The Defenders. Well, here we see it all from Matt's perspective, as he fades in and out of consciousness. It's beautifully directed and sound designed, making us feel like we are going through the same senses loss as Matt. I was wearing headphones during my viewing, and I gotta say, the direct stereo sound made it even more engaging as every labored breath, dull buzz and ringing was felt by my own ears, just as it was for Matt Murdock. It's a lengthy recovery for him as he slowly regains his strength and hearing and all the while has discovered a newfound distrust of his faith. He is a man who once believed that he was doing God's work, but now has had a huge crisis of faith that he no longer cares what God wants. His body and soul are both broken, but it's soon made clear that he's decided to put his faith and humanity aside, put his friends behind him, along with Matt Murdock, and decides only to be Daredevil. This season is about one struggle for identity, and it's captured well by the whole cast. Okay, now on to a huge moment for the show, and filmmaking in general. In season one, we were treated to an intense one-up. Yeah, you know the one. In the hallway, with Daredevil wearing his first costume, with no obvious cuts, this fight lasted for three minutes, and was one of the most popular water cooler moments of its inaugural season. Season 2 up the ante, this time wearing his red devil suit, an empty handgun strapped to one hand and a metal chain strapped to another, they took the camera off the dolly and with the handheld nature it really helped capture the extra intensity of the fight. But the extra difficulty, there were some noticeable cuts and the scene returns to a normal edit mode after about 3 minutes again. But this season, Matt is, well... I don't want to spoil it too much for you, but once you see him put a phone on the hook, you know that the scene has begun and get ready for the most exhilarating near 11 minutes of one take television you have ever seen. He has nowhere to hide. Charlie Cox is Daredevil. What season three has brought is a true return to form for the Marvel Netflix TV series. The story is engaging, and it leaves me craving to put as many pieces together as possible. The performances are top-notch, with Charlie Cox absolutely nailing every scene he's in, not to mention the delightfully smooth yet menacing Vincent D'Onofrio as Wilson Fisk. The newcomers hold their own too, with Wilson Bethel's Agent Poindexter the one to play close attention to. 
That'll be all from me, guys. Don't forget, mark your calendars for October 19 and prepare yourself for a great season. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it ends. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell on the Movie Nerds YouTube channel for more great content. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I will see you nerds at the movies.